Now, one of the key features in ACF or Advanced Custom Fields Pro is the repeater field or the repeater region or nested repeaters. There's lots of different terminology used to actually use this particular field type. And what it does is it gives you the ability to easily use information over and over and over again without knowing how much of that information needs to be put in. Let me just show you what I'm talking about to give you a better example. What we are going to work on is this working hours section. And this has three different pieces of information. We've got the location, we've got the day of the week, and we've got the working hours. But we don't know how many days this particular job role will encompass. In this example, we've got five days, but they're different days. So we want to have that flexibility to be able to put the content in any way we want. To do that, we're going to be using the repeater field in ACF Pro. Now, I've already got a basic field group set up. This is from the video that I created on getting started with Advanced Custom Fields and Bricks Builder. I'll link that in the description and in the corner right now. So if you are new to this and you want to check that out, you can do. But these are basically just three simple fields. We're going to go ahead and add an extra field in. This time, we're going to choose the Browse Fields option, and we're going to choose the Repeater option. We'll choose that. We can give this a name. We'll call this Working Hours, and we'll say Select Field. So we've now input the kind of placeholder. You'll see what we have underneath now is subfields. Now, these subfields are basically what you're going to see inside this working hours section. The location, the day of the week, and the hours that are going to be worked. So what we need to do is create those three fields that are nested inside this particular working hours group. So we'll add a field like we've done before. The first one is a text field. That's perfectly fine. We'll just call this location. Field name, leave us location. We don't need to do anything else. If you want to get into presentation and so on, you can do. But for this, we're going to keep it super simple. There's the first field. Next field we're going to add in is, again, a text field. We're going to say day of the week. Again, this will automatically create those field names for us. And then finally, we're going to add another one in. This one we're going to set again to a text field. But you can use whatever field types you want. If you want to put images in, anything like that, you can do. This time, we're just going to put working hours. And we'll close that down. Now, this has been associated with my custom post type of jobs. And you'll see that we've got the option to set different kinds of layers, a table, block, and row. They all have the same information. It just lays them out slightly differently. We'll leave this set to table. If you know you're going to have a lot of information, you can click the pagination option and set how many you actually want per page, just so you can filter through that data a little bit easier. In our example, we don't need that. Once you've done that, we're going to hit Save Changes. And that's going to commit everything to our setup. So we've got all the basics in place with ACF. Let's hop over now into our jobs and take a quick look at how this is going to be displayed. Let's open up our advertising executive. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see there's our office location, the day of the week, and the hours that we want to work. And you can see this is just a set of repeater fields. So let's say I wanted to add another row in. I can simply go ahead and click Add Row. I can choose where I want this to be. So let's just say, for example, this is Edinburgh. This is going to be on a Sunday. And we'll say they're only going to work from 1 p.m. To 3 p.m. And we can click update. You can, if you want to, add more from inside here, or you can delete any of these rows. So if you didn't want this one, for example, we can easily go ahead and delete that. We say, yeah, we want to remove it. And now we've got rid of that extra one. We'll click update. And that's how simple it is to put these kind of repeater fields inside you. There's our three pieces of information, and we've got five lots of that. So with that being done, we now need to go ahead and actually display this inside the Bricks Builder. Now, for me, I'm using templates to set everything up. So I'm going to open the templates up. Now, I'm going to be using a template I've already created in that previous video. And all this does is it's a single post template that's going to be used to display the jobs. As you can see, it'll show the featured image, the actual name of the job role, some ACF data, those kinds of things. Let's open that up with bricks. And this is our basic template. There's nothing you probably haven't set up yourself hundreds of times. What we need to do, though, is underneath this working hours, we want to put in the actual content to display our information from our repeater field. To do that, let's click on our heading, which is our working hours. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in a new element. And we're going to drop in a container. This container is going to kind of be the placeholder that everything sits inside. So inside there, we're going to add another container. This just allows me to easily style this. Now, obviously, you could still use blocks or divs. It's up to you how you like to work. I'm just going to put a container inside just so I can keep an eye on what I'm doing. And if I want to, I can actually go and rename this. So I'll just call this repeater container so I know what this actually refers to. And then we're going to change this container. and We're going to call this repeater. Actually, let's put repeater fields in. So we've named those. We can see exactly what's going on. 
So now we need to go ahead and add in those three pieces of information for the three different fields inside our repeater field. Now what we're going to do is we're going to contain each one of these in their own special container. This means things are easier to organize should we want to afterwards. So to do this, we're going to come back over to our elements and we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a block in. That block is now going to contain the title for our actual location. So we'll come over to our elements, we'll click our plus, and we're going to use, in this example, a heading, but you can use pretty much anything that outputs text. It doesn't really matter too much. We'll select our heading, and from here, we need to go ahead and say where that information comes from. So we're going to just select this I am a heading and delete it. We're going to click on the little lightning bolt for our dynamic data, and we're going to scroll right the way through until we get to our ACF information. And you can see, there's our office location. We're going to select that and that drops the information in. Now, let's go ahead and change this over to something like a H6, so it's not quite so bold, and this puts the basic info in. Okay, so now that we've got our first piece of information in there, which is the location of the offices, we need to get this to repeat, because at the moment, it will just output the basic data. So we're gonna select this repeater fields container that we just set up, we're gonna select that, we're gonna come over to the left-hand side and use the query loop option, and then we're gonna set our query. So we're going to change this over and you'll see inside there we've got ACF repeater working hours, which is at the working hours we created inside ACF. We'll select that from our list. We don't need to put a no results option in, but if you wanted to, you could put a no results text in. So if nothing is found, at least something will come up. So let's test this out to make sure everything is working. We'll go ahead and save this. We'll open up our page. We'll refresh. And we'll scroll down, and you can see there's our working hours. So we've got London, London, Bristol, Cardiff, and Edinburgh. All our basic information. So there's the first level done. We now need to go ahead and set our second level. So what we're going to do is select our heading. And from there, we're going to come back over to the elements. And we're going to go ahead and drop another block in. And this is going to be our second level of information, which is going to be the day of the week. So selecting that block, we're going to come back over, click on the plus. We're going to go ahead, we're going to add another heading in. We'll select that heading. We'll change this I have a heading and click on our little lightning bolt. Scroll right the way to the bottom. And this time we're going to choose our day of the week option. We can change our HTML tag. For this, we'll set custom and we'll set this to be a P tag. And we'll also come into our style and we'll come into our typography and we'll just make this just a little heavier. So we'll set this to be something like 500. So now we've got that second level of repeater. So again, let's go ahead and save this. Come back over and refresh, and you can see inside there now we have London on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday is Bristol, Thursday is Cardiff, and Sunday is Edinburgh. So things are looking pretty good so far. We're going to repeat that for the third time. So making sure we've got our heading selected, we're going to come back over. We're going to scroll down, choose the block option, select our block, go ahead, add elements in. This time, instead of using something like a heading, let's try rich text and see how that works just to demonstrate there's other ways in which you can work on you. With that being selected, we'll go and select our rich text. We'll come into our content and delete everything inside here. Click on our little lightning bolt for dynamic data, choose ACF, and we're going to choose our hours from that list. You can see that now pulls in the relevant information. We'll go ahead and save this, jump back over to our page and refresh, and there's all of our information being looped through with those three different levels. So now what we can do is we can make this look a little bit nicer and a little bit neater. If you remember in our example, we had things lined up in a nice, simple, clean way. Let's go ahead and do something like that. We're going to have to write a little bit of custom CSS, but I'll put that in the description down below so you can just basically copy what I've got to see exactly how it all works. So what we need to do is we're going to select our first block. This is basically that title section, which is the location, so London, Edinburgh, and so on. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our styles and we're going to scroll down until we get to the CSS option. And now we can create some custom CSS. So we're going to target the root. We're going to set this to display grid. And then we can set up the grid that we want to use. We're going to do grid, template columns. I'm going to set this to 1FR, 1FR. And you can see that now basically splits things into two columns. You can go as far as you want with the styling for this. It's entirely up to you how you want to work. But now if we save this and hop over and refresh our page, you can see now our information is kind of stacked nice and neatly side by side. So I'm going to quickly go and apply some simple styling to this, and we'll see the end result in a moment. And there we go. With a little bit of styling, you can see we now end up with a much nicer looking layout. Everything is laid out. All our repeater region information is being displayed correctly. And this should give you a good idea of 
basically how easy it is to get up and running using this kind of technique. And you can go as far as you want with this. But as always, I would welcome your feedback on the techniques covered in this video. Drop those comments in the comment section down below. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.